Hi there, Ty Parkin with DebsJewelryShop.com here to show you how we use the Square to invoice and charge our customers so they get their shipments. Once you sign into your Square account, it'll take you to this home page. From there, you want to go to Invoices on the left, and you're just going to go ahead and click on Create Invoice. Now you should already have their name and email address from your live party or however you've sold them. You should have collected that information so you can invoice them. And we're just going to use our business address here. You can give the invoice a title if you choose to. It auto invoice creates the invoice ID based on your last one. So you can change that if you'd like to too, but it's easier just to leave that the same. And then here you just put in the item. Now, we personally sell a lot and we don't like to take too much time invoicing, so we just write down necklaces and then let's say if they bought four of them, we'll just change that to a four. And of course, changing the price to $5 each, unless you've sold a Z collection piece. Now, if you want though, you can break it down and label each individual item by their name or if you've given them a SKU number or whatever you want, you can do that to make it easier for yourself. The thing about um, Square is you do have to put shipping as a different line item. And so whatever you charge for shipping, you're just going to go ahead and enter there. And that's how you create an invoice. You just scroll down, make sure everything's right. If you charge sales tax, you'd already just create that in the account settings. Or if you choose not to, that's up to you. And you just go ahead and click on send. Now, once this is sent, your customer will get an invoice and it will look like this. We've already set ours up, and all they have to do is click on Pay Invoice, and it'll take them to this page right here. It has a dollar amount. It's due on receipt. They just put in their name, their credit card number, expiration, and CBV code, and the zip code is the zip code that is tied to their billing address where their statements get sent to. And then from there, all they have to do is click on Pay, and the invoice will be paid. Now, you'll be able to log into your Square payment, Square account and see what's been paid, and pull their shipping information all off from that if you've already because you've already gathered it um, from them from your thing. Now the good thing is we use a shipping program that also connects to our Square account and our PayPal account, and it can automatically pull in every invoice that's been paid, so that we can ship directly from there quickly and easily and less than going to the post office. I'll include the link to both Square payment. If you sign up through that link, it'll give you a thousand dollars on free processing. And there is no monthly fees with Square, which is nice. You just get charged for what you use. And I'll also include a link to the shipping program we use. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our site, debsjewelryshop.com. Look through the FAQ and all the other pages. And if you have a question, email us. Have a good day.